Hey guys, Mr. Backberg here. This is part two of lesson 6.1. We're going to find the area of oblique triangles and we're gonna use the law of sines to model and solve real life problems. So we're looking at finding the area of an oblique triangle and remember an oblique triangle is just a non-right triangle. Could be acute, could be obtuse. Now this area formula is gonna be a little bit different than the one you're used to. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one half times a couple of sides times the sine of the angle between them. Okay, so that's what this is saying right here in the middle. If you look at the formula down below, this first one we've got one half times B times C times the sine of angle A. So B and C are these two sides on our triangle and then A is the angle between them. Likewise for these other formulas, this one's got one half AB times the sine of angle C. This one's got one half AC times the sine of angle B. So two sides and the angle between them. So on this example, we've got triangle ABC. Looks like we're given side A as 90 meters. We've got side C as 52 meters and angle B is 102 degrees. So if we're setting up that area formula, we're gonna go one half times the two sides. So we've got 52 and we've got 90. And then we want to do the sine of the angle between them, which is 102 degrees. Now we should be able to just type all of this into our calculator as is. And when we do that, we should get about 2,288.87 meters squared, since this one is an area. Taking a look at this example, we're given a description. We've got angle A as 50 degrees, side B is 12.86, and side C is 20. We don't necessarily need a picture on this one, but we could draw it out if we wanted to. So we've got this picture. Here's triangle A, B, C. A is 50 degrees, side B is 12.86, side C is 20. If we're setting up that area formula, we're gonna go one half times the two sides, times the sine of the angle between them, which is our 50 degree angle. And if we type all of this into our calculator, we should get about 98.51. We're not given a unit on this one, so I'm just gonna go units squared. Next example says we've got a triangular piece of land. One side is 24 yards long, another side is 18 yards long, and those two sides form an 80 degree angle. We can sketch out a picture just like the last one if we want to. So let's say this side is 24, this side is 18, and the angle between them we're told is 80 degrees. So if we're finding the area of this plot of land, we're gonna go one half times the two sides, so 24 and 18. And then we're gonna do the sine of our 80 degree angle. When we type all of that into the calculator, we should get 212.72 yards squared. Last example is not an area problem, but we're going back to some of our law of sine stuff that we talked about in part one of 6.1. So we've got a boat race taking place and everybody is starting at point A. From point A, we head south 52 degrees west towards point B. Once we hit point B, we're gonna turn and go south 40 degrees east towards point C. And then from point C, we're gonna go due north directly back to point A. Now we're told that point C is exactly eight kilometers south of point A, and we're gonna have to use some law of sine stuff to help us find the other distances so that we can figure out the total distance of this race course. I do have some things marked out on our picture. At point A, we were heading south 52 degrees west to point B, so we've got this 52 degree angle in there. From point B, it was south 40 degrees east to point C, so this angle inside of here is a 40 degree angle, and we've got that eight marked out from C to A. Now we're gonna need the other angles inside of our triangle to be able to do the law of sines, and I'm gonna go back to some geometry ideas with these two vertical lines. We've got this vertical line from C to A. We've also got this vertical line drawn from point B. These two vertical lines are parallel and this 40 degree angle and this other angle over here are alternate interior angles. And if we remember some things from geometry, alternate interior angles are congruent. So this angle inside of our triangle has to be a 40 degree angle. Using what we know about the angles inside of a triangle, this other angle happening at point B has to be an 88 degree angle. And now we have enough information to use our law of sines. So let's maybe go ahead and find side A right away. So we're gonna go A over the sine of 52 equals, looks like we have both things for B. So we're gonna go eight over the sine of our 88 degree angle. 
Typing the right-hand side into our calculator, if we go to four decimals, we get about 8.0049. Left-hand side, we've got A over 0 0.7880. And if we multiply that decimal over to the other side, we get the length of A to be about 6.31 kilometers. If we're looking at finding side C, we're gonna go C over the sine of 40 degrees. And I'm gonna use this same B information from earlier. We already typed that into our calculator and got 8.0049. If we do the sine of 40, we end up with C over 0.6428 equals this 8.0049. And multiplying that decimal over to the other side, we get the length of C to be about 5.15 kilometers. Now we want the total distance, so we're just gonna add up our three sides. And when we do that, our total distance should be about 19.46 kilometers. That's gonna be it for this video. Please remember to fill out the Google form linked in the description down below. And thanks for watching.